concerning the year of this very important moment. Before we delve into this very crucial, no corruption is a moment, a minute that threatens every fabric of any society once when it is not carefully taken care of in terms of like that, like the way she did. It's not just about eliminating about developing the world. Before we get into this very important program, I am well pleased and excited that I've come to join the voice, my voice to many previous voices who I convened in ensuring that the fight of corruption, not only in our country, remains one of the but before then, I've been informed of a few issues in our city. I just want to see this opportunity so that we can uh, let our citizens know we want to say, use this time to publicly and immediately condemn the unfortunate situation that occurred within the city at the radio station, you can inform all the see the same platform to uh, comment the police on the direct stewardship of Colonel Patrick Sue, who are very swift. He was, he was able to take siege of said mountain. We have consistently said to our people, let us not resort into the days of old. Let us consistently respect the view and the will of our Liberian people. The Liberian people have never fallen short of stating what they believe in and what they respect. We must be respectful of the people's decision. Let us not tear this country apart. Let us not misrepresent this country and we think whether in opposition, or whether it's in position, or whether also I think violence is never in state. It should never be a, a thing to be considered by any of our Nigerian people. Because this country has seen a lot. So last man we heard there was a fracas and we call out the police, not only that you were there on time, we want you to ensure that a due investigation be conducted and so that as we go towards a very major election, electoral process, we want to ensure that this place is nothing, but not for the first shot of nothing, but this place will be safe and the people they have a free atmosphere to conduct their respective businesses. So we want to say to you that it was unfortunate and we're glad that the police have taken seizure. Moving forward, let our people be warned. We can disagree. Ideologically, we must take disagree with the issues. That was not allowed our disagreement to be manifested into activities that is not appropriate for a civilized democracy. Again, I want to say to you, yeah. Thank you to the Civil Society Center, Center for Transparency and Accountability. I want to use this moment to have a moment of silence for its first executive director, Jasper Kuna, who lost his life. 
He was a patriarchal and nationalistic Nigerians who taught the formal institutions that, was, that was so many institutions were formed. Some was on human rights, so on, so many issues. But he taught that there was a need to form this institution with his clear purpose to confront and combat this deadly malice that is against human resistance or corruption. Even though he's not alive, he parted along the Nisar. What is interesting is these institutions still remain alive. Not just remaining alive, it is pursuing, it is engaging. For the reason of which we have been formed. I want to appreciate those young, brilliant Liberians who have decided to decide, decide to help our society. So today I've come to say to you I am pleased, I am grateful, I've come to join each other to affix my signature to say to you as a mayor of the city, we will do everything possible to extend our offices. An interesting thing about corruption is that even if you know that in the legal dumping of waste in a community is corruption by itself. If you know you have a point to play that you're not supposed to abuse, and you go corruption begins from the mindset. You can get drama inside and be corrupt. You can get corrupted from the inside before you. The outside is just a radicalization. And so we think the effort at least young nationalistic Nigerians will be encouraged by our government people. And I think that's the lens of Dr. George Mann. We are on his leadership. I think that's something you'll be very excited about. Today, as I can fix my signature, I will also allow him to be informed that for our leadership of the mayor. On our leadership of the mayor, we want to call on all of our friends in government. Let us lead the way. Let us join these young people to help save ourselves and save our country. We want Liberia to be taught among many Africans. We, government officials, the public sector officials, civil society practitioners, all sectors of our country can begin to be very supportive in the show. I want to say thank you to our young people. And I want to see this platform have the Moravia city government. We try to work in. We try to invest in the communication, sensitization. So we have what we call Moravia MCCT. If you mind, Madam, we will encourage you that we can provide a platform of the as the MCCT, where you can also leverage and your jingles and your communication. That is our own way of saying that we will begin to help you in ensuring. Today, as we pledge, it's not to pledge because the camera that before us is to practical. And that's all you came to me. I said, I'm here to take a thorough. 
review of what the day is like to me. And it was just a child of the district of school. We do not say what we don't mean. We do not mean what we don't say. That's why we have come before this camera. Convinced in what we have read. And we have made a solemn, a solemn pledge in assuring that we remain a partner in helping so we can make a difference in our society. We pour from all of our friends as we begin the process. So you can come. Two things we say to you. We provide them over here, our space to you in terms of our disseminating your information. We we'll also say to you our place is also open to you. Whatever information you need, you can reach out to us. We will not hesitate to share that with you. And we'll also see that you can, we can want to make a recommendation. You also extend your contact with to the ANTA, the LSC. So you can reach out to them your work. And we'll also say to you that the first one will give us space. The second one, that we want to avail ourselves to you when you're having some of your programs in the community. Many of these communities, when those, when your vocations are being conducted, when we are not available, we can assure you that we're destined to people to represent the same. We have signed as the head chief administrator of the Moravia State Government, and we have to encourage and ensure that all of those who work with the Moravia City Government, the municipality of the Moravia City Government, must take heed to the ceremony today. Therefore, as I conclude, fervently, I will just stand up and do a formal presentation. Of this pledge, I guess I will keep mine. You keep the other. So we'll keep it in my office, so we can be reflected, and it can be so we can take constant reminder that we have to fix our signature to something that we need to be true to. So, Madam, I want to say thank you. You can move forward as I officially present. <coughs> from uh, Centaur also receiving the pledge from the mayor. That was a very remarkable event. Uh, I've been uh, said that to our police, our police from, uh, from the media, the mayor spoke very succinctly on two issues. Uh, the first is that he pledged support the fight against uh, corruption, something which underpins uh, good governance and development. And the second is that he denounced the sudden stand of yesterday as uh, at force of like here, the radio station that's based in Monrovia. So he being uh, one of the progenitors or one of the, uh, the supporters of a non-violent uh, approach. We also think that it was good enough to denounce that. So your questions should be within the framework uh, within the scope of what the mayor said. 
So we'll start with the uh, first person. Uh, I'm not that from uh, Sean. Thank you, Lord Mayor. My name is Seko. I'm in another corner and I report for Stronger FM and Shkon TV Library. I want to appreciate you for pledging to fight against corruption. But basically, what do you have to say to other top government officials when it comes to following suit what you just did? And lastly, on the incident yesterday, some top opposition figure have started accusing you of supporting what occurred. What do you have to say to that? Well, thank you. We were. We were very full of people. And this is a very unique initiative. And I think uh, all government officials, all His Excellency Dr. George Maria, must see this as a renewed opportunity that's going to be encouraged. And that's going to be supported. And I think the Liberia to which environmental fight, I'm glad that this country has been validated for fighting corruption as it can historically record in the MCC scorecard with past corruption. So it tells you. There are things that this regime encourage, and there are practices that must continue, and if it's continue to be sustained, that's good. Again, opinion is personal. What we are here to see, opposition, and normally to see, you know, no matter where to have. I served the full year as the mayor, and I do not feel comfortable in a city in which I preside over. And unfortunate circumstances occur. Fair enough to say, and what I very really appreciate is the robustness and swiftness of the Liberian National Police and the Democrats, who are very effective and his deputy. Mark in the Marvel Sector, who took seeds immediately to provide them sanity in this area. We think we want to encourage that our people should not, our citizens should be encouraged not to become tools in the hands of desperate politicians. We want to encourage them. This country has, when it's a lot, it's a young man in this country. Many of the young persons who normally see yourself as victims of the wrongful history of our past, we need to be mindful. We want to say all of those things. What we can do, we could tolerate the perpetrator to masquerade on the streets and in our community. But to think those the perpetrators can reinvent what they did in the past. We need to be aware that they have zero capacity in fashion within such art. So it's wrong. I'm speaking here to encourage the Liberian our citizenry. We must jealously protect this peace like no one person, no institution. None of peace is extremely sacrament. Once there is peace, there is a lot of things that's possible. It gives each and all of us an opportunity to go about doing our daily business and try to survive. For those of the people who find the pleasure and they are I would be nostalgia of Jefferson Kuli is responsible. I wish them farewell and uh, I appreciate the fact that Kuli is here to serve as a ton of pain for those who refer to our good friends. 
Word is one of the most fragile. There should be no space for violence in this country. There should be no space for lawlessness in this country. There should be no space for excitement in this country. Let us not do that. Because when these things are done, the ramification remain unspecified. Liberia is being left there on so many things. Let us not allow ourselves to be bamboozled by few individuals who pretending to be saviors of the moment. But I'm convinced in the tenacity and the fortitude of the Liberian people who are far by super. And the peace will remain in this country because the Liberian people believe that peace is above everything. Beast is above personal frustration. The beast is above every other thing. And that's why we cannot compromise peace. Not even politics can compromise peace. As a reason, even people try to do even religious incitement. Our religious community are very, very firm on ensuring and maintaining the peace of this country. And the peace is being maintained not because I'm a mayor in this country. The peace is being maintained not because I have a particular political institution. The peace is being maintained because the Liberian people have said so and they have agreed that nothing, that's nothing supersede the peace of this country. If this peace will continue to be maintained. This peace will never ever be unraveled because people are earned. With the rhetoric of expression. I grew up with fast enough for them. So, I want to say to all people, it's unfortunate, you want to be a pocket stricter, but now a pocket stricter, we're not here to be accusing people. We're here to tell our people to provide for the people. We can do our politics. We don't have to misrepresent this country. We don't have to get involved in the acts. Now, we have to put a misrepresentation of this country. I'm not saying to you that all is well in this country. But activities on my mind, what is it? Only because you believe that you're not happy. So the country should be broke into things I don't think it's appropriate. I'm going to say like grand people have seen enough and they, like the song record said, we have learned our lesson well. I'm a veteran today and I know exactly know about the hymn when it says, we have learned our lesson well. Many people have learned a lesson well. But again, this program is about a fixing my signature. So I want to take the lead from this people program. So that can be a very simple to encourage our government official. I will I go to my other capacity very soon. You have the other player represent. <laughs> I will be there. You have a real honor to have a conversation. And I can tell you, we respond appropriately. But at this stage, in the capacity as a mayor, the program, not my program, Santa is using me as the mayor to ensure that we help their workers. And the way to help their working as a policy maker to be the first to lead, to fix, to pledge, and to serve as the post of war in encouraging vast majority of our people. So I want to plead with you, our distinguished press panelists. Let us not sway away from the middle of this very important program. All of you are aware of corruption. Corruption is is a a madness that whole thing and theory of what everybody around here. Even some Malibu they are coming from the other place. If you want to be popular, the first thing you need to get a sharp corruption. And you think when you shot corruption, I mean, it's a serious person. Even if you were a criminal yesterday, all you need to say is corruption. And you think on the basis of that. So, corruption is so important to the extent that everybody, you know, even people yesterday, yes.